Good morning, St. Bernard's family. It, I'm Amanda McCall, and it is my joy to get to spend a few minutes with you. So I'm going to go straight to Scripture. Uh, Psalm 77 uh, is a favorite. And what's interesting about Psalm 77 is it starts out as a lament. And lament is when we can just pour out like deep sorrow or grief. And I think it's so encouraging to me to know that we serve a God who gives us the space we don't always have to be in a good mood. We don't always have to have our A game, um, but He has the space for us to be real. And so I just wanted to go through it and tell you some encouraging things. I hope it encourages you. It starts out Psalm 77, 1. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands and I would not be comforted. And then he goes on and he talks about he groaned and his spirit grew weak. And all of these things are happening. And then he goes down, verse 7, he starts questioning, Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? He keeps questioning God. And then everything turns around. And he says in verse 11, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will consider your works and meditate on your mighty deeds. And so it's like God gives us the space to pour out our grief. He even gives us the space to ask questions like, man, God, why is this happening? Are you, are you going to remember me? Are you still compassionate? And what I love so much about this is he remembers and have to remember that God's people, the Israelites, they are so good at, at putting something in place to remember. Like when the Israelites crossed right before the promised land, they're getting ready to go in and they cross the Jordan and God commands them to go and get stones and they, pat, they pile up those stones. And God said, this will be an, a reminder to future generations of how I've provided for you. And you see that over and over, things they did to remember God's faithfulness. And so everything changes, just like in this psalm, everything changes in our life when we remember His faithfulness. And one of the things that the psalmist remembers is how God led them across. Um, when they, got, they were fleeing Egypt and when they got to the Red Sea, there was no way to get out. Because you got an army coming on one side and you got this massive body of water. And I want to read this last verse, um, and it's from the New Living Translation. It's the same passage, but in verse 19. Your road led through the sea, your pathway through the mighty waters, a pathway no one knew was there. And I read this recently, and it's just a reminder. If I don't know if you're like me. I've got some stuff going on in my life right now. We don't see a solution. And so when I read this verse and I see a pathway no one knew it was there, it reminds me that God is a God who creates Red Sea roads. We might not see a solution right now in our lives, but like He's working out details um, because He sees everything. And so we can trust, we can remember His faithfulness and know that wherever we are right now, if we're going through something hard, there might just be a Red Sea road that He's working on and we're gonna get to cross through it and He's gonna navigate us. And then I'm going to leave you at the end of that. He keeps talking about how God is, how awesome He is, and He ends with, You lead your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. And they were shepherds. And so, like, God is so big and awesome. He's a creator. He does miraculous things like part seas. But He's also a shepherd, which reminds me how tenderly He cares for us individually. And so instead of praying to close, I want you to be able to pray through this really awesome song. It's called Just As Good. And so there's going to be a way for you to click on it. And just to get you interested in it, I want to read this part of the song. It says that you're still just as good as when I met you. You're still just as kind. Don't let me forget that you're still the same God that led me through the fire. You're still the same God who separates the waters. Come do what only you can do. God, I need you. So I pray in your day that you will see God need, do exactly what you need Him to. Thank you.